Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you uh, what my camera was doing. I know a lot of different types of shaking have been happening with the gimbals, uh, and so you'll see a lot of different videos. So I kind of wanted to go over a couple of points of what mine's doing. Uh, so mine's a little bit different than just the vibration that a lot of people are having. If I turn it on, then it's literally just going crazy. And it just kind of stays in one position, and my screen will say uh, gimbal motor overload. So the first thing I did was I looked over here at this little uh, flathead here. And you'll notice that um, the little cutout part right here, that cutout needs to be in line with this set screw right down here. So if it's not facing uh, the correct way, then what you can do is go ahead and lift up the mount right here and you can go ahead and use that screwdriver to actually turn the motor underneath. Now the cutoff on mine is already facing the set screw so I don't need to turn that at all but I am going to attempt to uh, tighten the set screw. So in order to tighten this what I'm going to use is a 1.5 millimeter hex screw and as soon as I'm done giving it a little bit of a turn I'll go ahead and show you if that worked. So I tightened it, flipped it back over, and let's find out if it worked. So apparently not. So let's go to the next step. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm going to remove this back plate. It just has very small little uh, Phillips screws, it has five of them. I'm going to take that off to make sure that the camera is set correctly on its mount inside. So there is a problem here. What's happening is when your uh, when the gimbal is in this horizontal position, just this neutral position, then this little half moon shape looking guy right here should be facing directly down. It should be towards the drone. And so now that I've taken these screws off, this whole gimbal right here can just pop right off. So you literally just take your hands, pull it straight out, and it'll pop off. And we're going to rotate this to where it's facing down, and then put it back in and put the screws on, turn it on, see if that worked. So I went ahead and pulled that off. Like I said, you can just use your fingers and separate that from that. Uh, you don't have to be scared, but you do have to be careful because you definitely don't want to uh, break any of the ribbons, but just go ahead and apply a good amount of force. Uh, just pull it straight out nice and easy, and this is what we're going to uh, actually turn right here. As well, before I turn this, I do want to mention, I know a few of you are probably going to uh, be like, oh, this comes off really easily right here, and it's a lot easier to turn this by hand. But you can't take this off first because the entire thing, the actual screw, plus, sorry it's blurry, the actual screw plus this guy, this is actually a ring that fits around the screw and both of those have to turn. So make sure you don't take this little circuit board off uh, before you turn it. So as you can see, I'm just going to turn it by hand. It's not hard at all to turn. And I'm turning it until it's facing directly down uh, towards the drone. There we go. Sorry it's so blurry. So now that it's pointing down towards the drone, I'm going to go ahead and pop the camera back on there, put the back, uh, return that to its proper state right there, turn it around, see if it works. So in case some of you did what I did, I want to point this out. I did not keep these screws separate, these five screws. So I wanted to show you the three screws that are closest to the actual drone are slightly smaller in diameter than the two top screws. So just make sure when you're putting them back in, you know the larger screws go right up here uh, towards the ground, essentially. So let's go ahead and turn this around and see if that helped. So it looks good. Let's go check uh, my iPad and see what that says. So I turned it on, aircraft warmed up, ready to go, and it looks like I no longer get the motor overload warning right there on the left. So I am ready to go and uh, going to go fly. Thanks, you guys. Hope this helps.